right, here are five things to know as you start your day. President Trump's Twitter account is getting more attention than usual after he tweeted he won over the weekend, referring to President-elect Joe Biden. Some saw this as a concession, but the president later backtracked, tweeting again, I concede nothing. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony Fauci says that delaying the presidential transition is a public health risk because of the rising number of COVID-19 cases. The United States surpassed more than 11 million COVID-19 cases over the weekend. That's a million new cases just in the last week. Saturday marked the 11th day in a row that the United States recorded more than 100,000 cases in a day. More than a dozen states, including New Hampshire, broke daily records of cases on Saturday as well. As cases here in Maine continue to increase, another nursing home is experiencing positive cases of COVID-19. People who live at Huntington Commons in Kennebunk are self-quarantining, as are staff members who have tested positive. It's not clear how many cases are there as of right now, but the Maine CDC says it's not investigating this as an outbreak. Huntington Commons officials say they check temperatures and restrict visitors until they see 14 days without positive cases. People who live in Skowhegan are still under a do not drink order. The Maine CDC first issued the order on Thursday when someone reported a soapy odor in the water. After testing samples, Maine Water Company says it did not find any regulated contaminants in Skowhegan's water supply and the water meets all state and federal standards. The order could be lifted as early as this evening. And on this Monday morning, some of you may be encountering some large limbs, some wet leaves down on the roads after those strong winds moved through last night. At one point, knocking out power to about 30,000 customers. Here are the latest outage numbers. CMP reporting 20,500 customers in the dark this morning. Versant Power in Eastern Maine reporting 3,341. That's actually ticked up a little bit in the last hour. Now the good news is the strongest winds are now long gone, but you will still notice a gusty breeze today between 25 and 30 miles per hour. So cold and windy outside, but shouldn't really hamper those restoration efforts.